that young lady that was up there. She started off on the wire when she was, believe it or not, only three and a half years old performing with the rest of her family up on the wire, 30 feet in the air. And also another incredible feat that she did not too long ago is we went to the land of Korea. They had a wire stretch over the, uh, the Han River in downtown Seoul. The, distance, the height of that wire was about 60 feet in the air about the height of these light poles here. But the distance was the most remarkable thing. It was a distance of one kilometer in length. That is 3,300 feet, six tenths of a mile. If you were to put 11 football fields end to end, well, that's about the distance that she walked over the Han River. If you were to look from one end of this uh, bowling alley thing here to the end, figure at least I don't know, two or three or four of those. And I think that was an incredible feat. What do you think? Yeah. Now, John, here's the thing that I was trying to get into your minds and into your hearts. Performing on that wire, there's one thing that is the most important thing that my grandfather taught me. is focus. I have to focus on a point that doesn't move at the very far end of the wire. That's how a tightrope walker maintains his balance, focusing on that point. When you get distracted, when you get turned around, it can meet with disaster. But keeping your eyes on that point is all important. And let me tell you what, that's a great lesson in life itself. But gentlemen, if you can focus in on a goal in life, if you persevere, if you won't give up, if you just keep plugging, you can accomplish absolutely impossible things in life. And gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you, I've been walking the straight and narrow pretty much of my life, and the reason for that is because my primary focus is on Jesus Christ. Now, those four men that were holding those ropes, I don't even think I've ever met them before. They're four of our teammates. 
They don't know me either, but you know what? Once they got hold of that rope, they were holding it diligently. They were keeping me safe up there. That wire was moving back and forth. I could hardly stay up there without their help. So I appreciate what they did. How about a big hand for that for me? Now those four men not only were holding my lifelines, but let me tell you something. They've come here today because they want to hold your lifelines as well. And they're not the only ones. Each one of my teammates around here, they've left their homes behind. They've left their homes and families unprotected for one reason. Because just like me and everybody, all of the speakers you've seen, we wholeheartedly believe that each one of you has the potential of being a champion in life right here where you're at. When you leave this place one day to be a champion to your community, to your families, to your kids, and I saw how many of you guys raised your hands when uh, Jay asked who had kids. How many of you guys can say, yes, I want to be a champion for my kids? There you go. You know how you become a champion? You walk that straight and narrow wire of a tightrope. You get your focus headed in the right direction so your kids can be absolutely proud of you, so your kids can follow in line behind you just as my children followed me that narrow path. Gentlemen, if you raised your hand just a moment ago, but can we have these men stand up? Sure. If you raised your hands and you want to be a champion for your kids, I want you to stand up right now, all around this place. And I'll tell you what, the rest of you fellas out here, if you don't have kids, if you want to be a champion in life, I want you to 